Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. Hey guys, International Stacker, I'm back. I got a real quick unboxing from JM Bullion. Okay. I did that kind of nice. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So it looks like we've got three of those roosters. Oh yeah, I bought these when they were hot and everyone was talking about them before they became impossible to get. So we got three of the Rwandan roosters. I'm really into sovereign coins from any country. I like them. Beautiful coin. Uh, and then these are the, oh, these are three of the anniversary. Anniversary of uh, Britannia's, uh, it's the 20th anniversary, I believe. Two, seven, 2017's, look at that, that's nice. And earlier I saw that, I was counting as 99, that's funny. Anyways, that's a quick unboxing from JM Boyon. I do buy from them from time to time when I want something and they had these puppies and I saw these and added them in as well, so yeah. And here's another boring unboxing, what is it? Are you kidding me? A whole monster box? How could a monster box be boring when it's empty? <laughs> uh, I learned about these monster boxes um, from Silver Stacker and these are great. Uh, they're for the Royal Canadian Mint 10 ounce uh, bars. So it's meant for a bunch of bars, but these are great for holding items. Um, this is what I stack all my silver in. They're, in, they're lockable, so they stack nicely. They're deep, but not too big and large. So when these are full, they're actually heavy. So if you had a bigger monster box, it'd be actually difficult to pick them up and move them and do things with them. So I recommend these uh, Royal Canadian Mint Bar 10 ounce. All right guys, that was nice and quick and down and dirty, a minute and 12 seconds. Catch you on the next one.